Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video lecture, we will be discussing about the basics of the sediment transportation and the design of irrigation channel. So in the upcoming lectures, we are going to dive into the details of the sediment transportation and the various theories that are related to the design of irrigation channel. But before we move towards the uh, in detail explanation of these topic, we must understand few basic terminologies which will play a very important role once we go toward these main topics. So in this video lecture, we are going to understand those basic terminologies. So let us discuss these basic terms and what is their importance. So first of all, what is this sediment transportation? What is this sediment transportation? To understand the sediment transportation, we need to understand about the irrigation canal or irrigation channel. What is an irrigation canal or irrigation channel? It is nothing but a structure that is used to transfer the water from the source to its destination and destination is usually the field. The source, source of water is usually the river. A water from the perennial river is being transferred to the field for irrigation purposes through a irrigation canal. Now this irrigation canal generally is consist of earthen soil. It is made up of nothing but made up of nothing but earthen soil. It is made up of nothing but the earthen soil. An example of the of this can be seen in the image here. You can see here that this is an, an earthen canal section whose side slopes as well as the bed slope is made up of soil and you can very well see that the water is flowing in this earthen channel the source from the source the water is being trans transported to the to the field from the with the help of this earthen channel and you can see the water is moving under the action of gravity and since the water is moving so it will be moving with certain velocity the water will be moving with certain velocity all right now once the water is moving with certain velocity so it may be possible that if the velocity of the water is high it may erode it may erode the side slope it may erode the side slope as well as the bed slope. This moving water, if the velocity of this moving water is very high, it may erode the side slope. Let's say the depth of water is up to this, this height. Just for the sake of understanding, if the, if the depth of flow of the water is, let's say, this much, then and the velocity of water is let's say very high then it will erode these the soil particles from the side slope as well as from the bed slope likewise if the velocity of the water is very low then it may deposit certain silt particles that it may carry it may have carried along the way correct so that is what the sediment transportation is. We have the earthen, uh, we have the irrigation canal that is made up of earthen soil, and that irrigation canal is carrying certain water. This irrigation canal is carrying certain water at a certain velocity. Let's say this velocity is Vc. Vc means it is a let's say a critical velocity. It is a critical velocity. Now, at this critical velocity, there is neither erosion, there is neither the erosion nor the deposition of, of silt particle. There is neither erosion nor deposition of silt particle. That is, at this velocity Vc, at this velocity Vc, the sediment particles which are in suspended state this 
which are in suspended state will remain in suspended state and which are in which are at rest which are at rest that is with the particles the particles the particles which are at rest that is at the bed slope which are at rest will remain at rest at the velocity vc and which are in suspended state this moving water will carry certain sediment particles which may be in suspended state so the velocity is sufficient enough to keep this particle in suspended state so that velocity is what we call as the critical velocity all right now let's say let's say after a certain distance we are having a velocity v which is less than the critical velocity velocity we are having a velocity v in the irrigation canal which is less than the critical velocity now what will happen is at this velocity what will happen at this velocity you see like v is less than vc that is now the velocity of the of the new velocity new velocity of the irrigation canal has decreased from the critical velocity so what will happen is now the particles which were in suspended state the particles which were in suspended state now the velocity of the water is not sufficient enough the velocity of the water is not sufficient enough to keep the particles in the suspended state so eventually those silt particle will start to get deposited at that state again taking the example here let's say here the flow of the water has reduced to a velocity that is less than the critical velocity so the moving water the moving water was carrying certain sediments with it it was carrying certain sediments with it now since the velocity has reduced so what will happen is the accumulation of the sediment will start to take place the accumulation of the sediment will start to take place because now the velocity of the water is not sufficient enough to keep the these particles into the suspended state so eventually a pile of sediment will start to accumulate at this section pile of sediments will start to accumulate at this section so you can very well see the what whatever was the original depth of flow what was whatever was the original depth of flow because of the deposition of the sediment because of the deposition of the sediment now the depth of flow has been reduced or you can see here the depth of flow has been reduced compared to the actual depth now this deposition this deposition of sediment is what we call as the silting the velocity of flow is less than the critical velocity then silting phenomena starts to occur the silting phenomena starts to occur silting is the deposition silting is the deposition silting is the deposition of sediments in a irrigation canal in a irrigation canal it can be in it can be in a reservoir or any structure so wherever there is a deposition there is a deposition of sediment that is what we refer to as the silting phenomena okay likewise 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 if the velocity the new velocity is greater than the critical velocity if the new velocity is greater than the critical velocity earlier what was happening the new velocity was less than the critical velocity now the new velocity is greater than the critical velocity so this means the bed particles the river bed particles 
the river bed particles will what happen will start to erode will start to erode they will start to erode again taking the example here if let's say in a section the velocity suddenly increases maybe this uh, the slope has been uh, slope has increased to so the velocity increases now this increase velocity will definitely take with it will definitely take with it the sediment particles that are there at the at the bed as well as at the side slope you can very well imagine like if the water is flowing with a certain with a very high speed so all these sediments particles will also start to move with the flowing water correct will start to move with this flowing water what will happen when uh, this uh, particle will start to move with the flowing water there will be constant erosion constant erosion of the sediment and this canal section dimension will start to change all right so this phenomena this phenomena when the pet particle starts to erode these pet particles or it can also be the side slope particles it can also be the side slope that is overall dimension overall uh, silt particles from the irrigation canal starts to erode then this this process is what we call as the scoring this is what we call as the scoring scoring of the river bed so from the discussion so far we have discussed two terms one is the one is the silting and another is the scoring one is the silting and another is the scoring silting is the deposition while scoring is the removal of the bed particles so both the silting and scoring phenomena will basically lead will basically lead to an unstable both the silting and scoring phenomena will lead to an unstable irrigation canal section will lead to an unstable irrigation canal or irrigation channel section either the irrigation canal is being subjected to silting or it is subjected to scoring or it is subjected to both the phenomena whatever be the phenomena either silting scoring or both it will eventually lead to an unstable irrigation canal section why because let's say if only silting is taking place then the depth of flow for which we have designed the canal section will reduce again a failure of the design if scoring takes place the dimensions and everything will change that canal will again become unstable if both are taking place at different uh, parts of the canal section then again a total failure will take take place all right so basically what we want is we want we want a canal section we want a canal section we want a canal section to be stable to be stable what do we mean by stable by stable we means that a canal section or a channel section where there is neither there is neither silting there is neither silting nor scoring there is neither silting nor scoring phenomena taking place okay this is what we want and that canal section is called as the stable section now in terms of irrigation irrigation canals this stable canal section is referred to as a term called as called as regime channel called as it is referred to a term called as regime channel section so a regime channel section is nothing but a but a stable canal section or a channel section what do we mean by stable canal section a canal section where there is neither silting nor scoring 
Okay, so this is what the regime canal section means. Okay, so it is very important to know what is what is silting. You uh, as in when we discuss silting, you should know that it means we are talking about the deposition of silt particles. What is the negative impact of the deposition of the silt particles? What we, what is the negative impact? The negative impact is the overall overall depth of flow, depth of the reservoir, depth of the reservoir or depth of the canal or depth of the depth of flow of the channel section will decrease, will decrease, which is again a failure. Yes, we have the scoring of sediments. We have the scoring of sediments. What does the scoring of sediment means? Scoring of sediment means removal of it means removal or erosion, erosion of sediments, erosion of sediments from the bed of irrigation, bed of irrigation channel, irrigation channel or canal, whatever the case may be. What, has the neg what is the negative impact of scoring? It causes the overall overall instability by changing the dimension. By, by changing by changing the dimensions of the of the irrigation canal or channel. Okay. So what we want is we want a stable can. Uh, Stable canal section where there is neither silting nor scoring. Small amount of silting and scoring is always there, but we uh, eventually want that this is not a substantial amount. So to do so, uh, like a, uh, a canal section is designed to so that the flow of water is at a critical velocity. The, the flow of water is at a critical velocity. That is the velocity. It is the velocity at which velocity at which the sediments the velocity at which the sediments which are in suspended state the sediments which are in suspended state will remain will remain in suspended state suspended state and those which are in settled state or at rest will remain at rest these will remain at rest and once this happens we basically are avoiding the silting and scoring flow Okay, and in terms of irrigation channel, this is what we call as the regime channel. This is what we call as the regime channel. Okay, so on and all, these are the few terms that we have discussed. We have discussed about silting, we have discussed about scoring, we have discussed about the regime channel, and we have discussed about the critical velocity. All right, now in the upcoming lectures, we are going to discuss the few theories that are related to the, uh, the design of the irrigation channel. What are their design steps? We are going to do some numericals. Likewise, we are also going to understand the mechanism of sediment transportation and on that also we are going to do some numerical. So I hope uh, this uh, video lecture was uh, useful to you. If so, subscribe to the uh, to the channel, uh, like the video and post your views in the comment section. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can always ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.